Oh, it's that time of the year where the snow is, well, it's on the ground, but at the same time it's melting because it's raining and everything else. So today I'm out here with another drone and today we have this here, the KF600. Look at how cool it looks. Pretty neat design. Now, what you're going to be amazed at with this drone is that uh, I flew it indoors. It's got optical positioning on the bottom. It's only got a 720p camera. But it's a really modular design. It looks like an egg. It looks like something modern that you see in sci-fi movies or new types of airplanes. So you got uh, motors pointing down and motors pointing up. But I think what you're going to be most impressed with about this drone is, uh, after you see it fly, is the price. So I have the model that comes with just one battery. But they actually have versions where you can get a really great deal if you want two batteries or you want three batteries. So... If I were you, I'd get the one with at least two or three batteries. This is only a one battery version and it's a 1000 milliamp battery that flies for, uh, you got about 12, min 12 minutes of flight time. And the range on this thing is about uh, 80 to 100 meters. So it's not too bad. And it comes with a controller too. So I'm gonna show you that now. There's my drone, there's my washing machine. We are indoors, there's outside, take off. And uh, there we go, let's head outdoors. Now, optical flow works great indoors, but outdoors, uh, white snow, not so great because it's one big pattern. That's what it looks like outdoors, pretty cool. Here's what it looks like flying along the ground. I've got the speed on two. Outdoors, you have to keep a higher speed because of the wind. Pretty powerful, it goes up. It goes all the way up to speed number three, and it also has flippy modes here. Let me just uh, do the flippy thing really quick. There's my flip. There we go. Bring it back here. It also has a 720p camera on the front and a camera 480 pointing downwards. So let me show you this. So right now you should see the camera pointing forward. I'm just going to bring it over, bring it down so I'll get myself in the picture. There we go. So this is what you get. Yeah, I see the props are in the frame. Well, that's kind of silly. Next thing is there's a camera on the bottom for the optical flow sensor. So I'm going to switch to that. Bottom camera. And I'll put it on, you can see it on my screen here. There's my hand. See my hand on the screen? All right, let me just bring it back here and I'll fly it over my head. Let me just put it on record too. So here we go, I'm gonna fly it up and uh, I should be under it. I'm looking down. So if you wanna have a camera pointing down, you just use the bottom one, which is right now, it's pretty low resolution though. I think it's 480, definitely not 720p. All right, I have the bottom camera on and it should be recording looking through and uh, let's see let's go up and i should be under it now i'm looking this is the bottom camera how's that look i'm oh maybe you can't see me here let's go way up so you can see me now can you see me and do a landing right there nice landing next thing i'll try the third speed i was only flying in the second speed so let's go up to speed number three and uh, let's go speed number three put you over here all right let's bring it nice and low to the ground okay so this is let's just show you different speeds quickly here's speed number one that is for beginners there's also a headless mode on here which is also for beginners so let's go speed number two with my button two beeps of speed two that's a little faster that's what i was flying in because of the wind let's go speed no whoa that's <laughs> it's in the wind back there now Speed number three. There we go. There we go. Much better. Much better. You really got to put the brakes on with these things. There we go. See when I push it forward? It just tilts in the wind. It looks pretty cool. Here we have the KF600 indoors and here we have my remote and cell phone attached and there's the camera right there i get it all going and i will just hit there's a little gesture mode on here a little hand thing right there on the left that's for taking photos or video so i'm going to give it a shot so let's just make this thing take off hit this one move that out so i don't get by the prop and uh, there we go so i'll leave that up there the optical flow will keep it in place and now we'll go into gesture mode all right bring it down a little bit as long as it can see me it should work so it says, let's just bring it over this way. For gesture mode, it says, make, put your hand up and it will take a picture. So here we go. Let's go like this, bring it up a bit and put a hand up. Am I getting a picture in there?
And then gesture mode. There go three, two, one. There's a picture. That's a terrible picture. Hey, I gotta say. All right, there's my head. Hold my hand up. Do I see any numbers on the screen? I don't know. Do you see anything? I don't see anything. There it goes. Three, two, one. You got it? Take a picture. <laughs> and it flies up. Okay, let's go. I gotta put this over here, or else it, it gets my controllers in the way. So here, I'll hold up my hand by my head. And now a quick unboxing of the KF600. Look at this drone. Doesn't it look cool? Check it out in the box. Inside the box, we see we have the drone right here and the controller underneath. Plus there's some other goodies below this here portion of the box. So let's take the drone out and uh, check it out close up. In the front right here is a 720p camera. It is non-movable. On the top would be your display for how much battery power is remaining, which is pretty good. You have the props facing upward and the motors here facing downward. So upward motors, downward motors, and of course they are brushed motors but they look to be pretty decent power buttons right here flipping it to the side you see the name KF 600 really cool little landing leg in the back underneath you see a positioning camera a second camera is here so this will keep it stable in the air this is a pretty nice design look at this and look at the screws in it it's actually really well made check that out you know it's a nice little design that's right here looks like a boomerang type thing but uh, it's well put together normally a lot of the inexpensive drones are just snapped together and they kind of fall apart but this here actually has screws in it which is really good which means if you have a problem you could probably just unscrew it and fix it yourself but look at the shape and the style it's uh, pretty decent nice modular battery that fits in the back let's take a look at the controller itself here we go huge on off switch you can't get that wrong so you can power it on power it off yes it does take batteries I do have batteries in it you can see right here you have your buttons here for your trimming controls that would be your headless mode more than likely here you have your takeoff and your land button on the front you have your 360 flippy button and that would be your speed button and these antennas are just for show and on the back you'll put your three AA batteries it's pretty much your base controller it is well designed the the joysticks are really good on these type of controllers. They last a long time. I've used this with her many drones in the front here. You have a portion that you can put your cell phone right here and slam that back and uh, all is good. Also included in the kit is four spare props, spare set of screws for the props, four prop guards, one Phillips screwdriver, one massive instruction book, plus an instruction for the actual app. Here we have the battery in the drone and we're going to put it on the weigh scale to see how much it weighs. 120 grams. Now I've got the blinky lights happening on the drone, which means we're low on power. So I'm just going to hit the land button right here and bring her down. Come on down. And all four props should stop. And there we go. All right. I am going to put where you can buy this drone. I'll put a link to it below. It's on the TomTom Tom website. It's pretty decent. I like it. Make sure if you're going to buy this, it is very inexpensive. Like I'm talking, I think it's less than $40. It might be $30. Not really sure. And there might even be a coupon. So it, it could be even less. But if I were you, I would get the version with two batteries or three batteries because this only has one battery. So uh, yeah, make a really great Christmas gift. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it the good old thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.